In this episode, after six years in the making, we're finally ready to put the interior in the 1970 Chevelle. And since it's actually Jessica's car, she's here with me today, and she's going to be doing all of the work, right? Yeah. Good. I'll show you what the interior currently looks like. Basically all the farther we've gotten is we've got all of the dash in and uh, new sound matting and the carpet. That's actually the seat out of the 69 Camaro you can see in the other episodes. But this is pretty much it for right now. The plan is we've got newly recovered seats, door panels, we're gonna clean up some of the original plastic, repaint the pillars, Replaint, repaint the uh, trim for the back armrest areas. We've got new front armrests and some other miscellaneous hardware. Uh, we're going to try to get all of this in. Well, Jessica's starting on the front door panels. I'm going to clean out all the garbage out of the trunk, vacuum it out, and we're actually going to uh, do the original spackle paint in here and then lay a mat in and try to find an original tire and just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. And uh, hopefully by the time I'm done with this, Jessica has everything done. So I'm going to test fit it on here so I know exactly where I'm going to be putting the glue. Now we have this in place, we're going to use a little scotch tape to hold it in place just while the adhesive dries. How are you coming? Good, I'm just finishing the tape so the adhesive can dry. Hold it in place. Perfecto. You know these weather shields, guy could probably just use a garbage bag but since we're going to be selling this car, we want to do it kind of, sort of, ish the right way. Rears any different or the same? A little more difficult, actually. Just getting it lined up here. Hopefully, doing a pretty good job. Worst part of the car. But I'm hoping a little tsst will kind of maybe hide that a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit nicer back here. I changed my mind because I like spray painting, so I'm going to do this first, so hopefully these dry in the next 58 days. Um, I already painted these once, but I didn't have the car here yet, and I completely botched guessing the color, as you can tell. Um, factory, rattle cam, Derek screw up color. So basic Rust-Oleum, the paint choice of champions here, I'm going to give her a one-two of America. And hopefully they turn out halfway decent. Well, we're to the point we need some uh, panels, so we're going to do one open the front door. Take a look at these. It took two or three different tries to get the right color. But there's a light saddle, medium saddle, and dark saddle. <coughs> Great. Oh no, these are really nice. Of course it doesn't come with a badge, Malibu or what have you, but Feel pretty nice to show what the old one looks like. You can see it was pretty faded. Of course the sun, arm area. If the car was in better shape overall, you know, keeping the original interior uh, would have been ideal, but being redone, redone the whole car anyway, we opted to go this way. And as you can see, they're really close to color, so pretty happy. How do those look? Yeah, really good actually. All right, let's get these suckers on then. I probably should have everything taped off, but you're forgetting on the master of rattle cam. This stuff is great, but it takes forever to dry.
If I mess this up, I'm just gonna go right to bed. Really good product, but we waited forever for these things to show up. Like the gas. Not a rip. Right or left? Left? Okay. You get expensive stuff, just gas. It'll, it'll come right back around one way or another. The alarm starts an egg around here. And then uh, the old eject button. There you go. I think we're ready to slide this bad boy on. Mm. Got it. Oh, I ain't kidding, Jessica. I just ruptured my spleen on that bolt. I'm hoping that this one will go on a little bit easier than the other one. The other one, the holes didn't line up very well, so. Here's what. The one side looks like done, minus the plastic on the bottom and the rear there, but the curve of the new, these are full new quarters here, and the inside lip is shaped differently and they're kind of this way when they should be tss. So I'm going to finesse them straight here with my finesser, oh Harbor Freight, and you kind of do the old clamp finesse, just the old uh, Clamp and twist to move. Well, this will be the last panel. Thank baby Jesus. I don't even know. We spent hours out here today and it seems like we didn't get very much done. But then again, that's probably why I've been putting this off all these years. It's little things like the trim thing you got to do before you put the panels in and finding all the cranks and the handles and the little springy clip retainer things. So I'm going to beer 30 it after this. Well, we're going to call that a night. Tip of the cap to you fellers. Well, it's day two. What are we doing today? Well, if you put the sail panels in, I can clean up the plastic. And then we can put some seats in. Why are you yelling at me? <sighs> you want to hand me a snoop panel for the snippy snoop? Headliner shrunk a little bit from sitting outside for 318 years. Um, this guy. You gonna give me a flat blade rainmaker, please? Thanks. Precision interior tools. Oh yeah. This one looks like a horse peed on it 15 times. So we'll end up uh, recovering this one, but I gotta wait for a new back panel to come in, so we're just gonna throw it in for now. And in other news, this is the first time that I've sat crisscross applesauce since the third grade. And I'm really concerned that I'm going to be able to get back out of it. Like it's not even the same color anymore. It's like a... Yeah, they hate it a lot. Butter, scotchy, baby poop kind of color. Hmm. Can you make butterscotch pudding for I me? knew you were going to say that. It was in my brain. <laughs> the old snoop rope. Done. That was really easy. To make glue dry faster, a girl can use one of these professional fancy glue drying guns. All right, while Derek is stretching his hamstrings, I'm gonna go ahead and snip these on in here and make sure they fit okay and look okay.
All right, this is the part where it starts to get really exciting. I feel like once we get these pieces put in, it'll really start to look more complete. This is the part that I've been waiting for. One of my very good friends, Stephen, says tricks are for kids, so I'm going to show you a technique. Can you hand me my seatbelt 500? Take your factory set broom handle, go ahead and guide it in here. Throw these puppies up like this. Now, you can slide your old bottom part of your bench seat in here. And you don't have to sit here and fight the seat belts and do the old thing. When you're a big ogre like me, putting in interior is just not very cool. That snags under. Boom! One more. Boom! Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, we should have put new. Mm -hmm. And we realize that, but at least we can say she's factory. Well, these are really nice. Are we done yet? Not even close. Great! Did you get it started? All right, it's time to get the trunk mat ready. We're down here in the old wood shop, which Jessica is persistent, we should call the basement family room. You're gonna need a few things here. You're gonna need your standard issue ironing board. You're gonna need one of these here ironing machines. Make sure it's the best one in the house now, guys and gals. If only for the sole reason of getting your significant other to talk to you. You're gonna need a towel. I'm going black like my soul. Also, I just used it this morning, so it's nice and damp. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> the dampness is an important part. And finally, you're going to need your trunk mat. And you can see all these wrinkles in here. That's because they roll these suckers up in a little envelope, typically, when they ship them to you. We want to get all that stuff out before we toss her in the old hoopty. Um, so step one is we got to put some liquid in the old ironing machine here. I don't know a lot about these things, but I do know they need liquid to make the smoke come flying out. So I'm going to go get some of that and then we'll put some electrotricity on her. Be right back. Not sure how much liquid you need, so just eyeball it. Just figure enough to... That'll probably work just fine. Alright, go ahead and hit her with some electricity. And uh, we're just going to put it on face melt mode, high as she'll go, and then go ahead and just keep clicking on it, see if you can get more out of it. Set that aside, let her heat up, and then drag this guy on here, and uh, get her flattened out. Throw the old back rag on her. Now we got to wait for this guy to get hot. Where's the last button? Well, the iron's making snapping noises, so I think it's ready. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, that doesn't work very good. This does take quite a bit of time and patience, which I'm really bad at. Actually, I'm probably just going to have to... Jessica! I need help! It's important! Things left to do, like fix that squeaking door, 
You know, we have to wet sand the whole car and buff it, which I'm really looking forward to. You did a really awesome job. High five. <laughs>